Welcome back uh, to Nightline. I'm Pastor Benny and your host. We've had a lot of fun this first hour. Michael Bazmachin and Scott Daniels have been with us. They're going to continue being with us in just a few moments. We want to thank you. Maybe you're just tuning in. You'll have 30 minutes to enjoy the music of Michael Bazmachin. You'll have 30 minutes to enjoy the fellowship and the challenging words that these two gentlemen have been sharing with us tonight. We want to remind you, many of you have been calling tonight, uh, our prayer partners, and we're so grateful. And uh, we want to encourage you. See the number right here. Don't let it slide out of my hand, Sarah Beth, but that's it right there, 864-244-1616. We would love to hear from you. We had two, uh, we had uh, someone that, uh, miscellaneous, uh, we have forms around here. We know, we know what that means. But this one is so kind. They said the person uh, is seeing is enjoying the singing tonight. Someone, and then someone said they would, now I like this, I, I like this. They would like to know the name of Little John's suit. I like it. It, it is a Brooks Brothers suit and, uh, and uh, I think you can get them wherever. But I want to tell you something. I was telling the gentleman before we went on, it's interesting you asked that. The suit that I'm wearing tonight Honestly, my first time to ever co-host with Jimmy Thompson was in October. Ben, were you here? I don't remember if you were or not. Oh, uh, okay, uh, our, forward, our production manager's flooring tonight. And uh, anyways, uh, this was almost a little over 19 years ago, soon be 19 years. And I was co-hosting, Jimmy Thompson was at the desk, and this is the suit that I wore. Yeah, okay, 19 years. So it may cost a little, but hey, it's, it still wears. I mean, you know, ladies can't, but men can. Now listen, our scripture tonight is taken from Psalm 34. It's verses 4 and 5. Listen, it says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. Now, hey, that, that, that's a word of encouragement. And uh, I, I hope it is to you. And... Uh, we have been talking tonight about how God can use you. We're not talking about anybody's ability here, not one bit of ability, but we are talking about availability and uh, the very fact that you could be used of God Almighty if you just avail yourself. Right now, our dear friend Michael Baz Machen is going to sing, Give Him Everything, Michael! <laughs> This is a very If you were out there tonight, be blessed by Jesus. Jesus loves you so much no matter what you're going through. Lord, I get my strength from you. I love you with all my might. For all I am belongs to you. You are precious.
Jesus loves you more than you'll ever know. Just kneel down wherever you are and give your heart to Jesus. Give him everything. Thank you, Lord. You can get uh, that uh, CD. Yes, you can. You go. You you can get that uh, the power of His love, and the, the, some of the songs that uh, Michael's been singing uh, tonight. All those songs on this one. Yeah. And uh, you can you can you can get that. Uh, uh, I, I hope that you will uh, email him. And there is there it is. R M Goff, eight two seven at yahoo.com. And uh, give him a call, 864-439-1148. And he'll get that autograph it, tell him your name, if you want somebody else. What a great gift it would be, Christmas stocking stuffers, <laughs> something like that, I mean, and be autographed to them. Now, we've been talking tonight, uh, Scott, we've been talking about Bill, and uh, give us some information about, uh, we've been talking about Bill Bolton and... Um, Bill Dunn. I mean, excuse Bill me, Dunn. Bill, Bill Dunn. Dunn. Bill Dunn, <laughs> Bill Dunn. <laughs> yes, sir. My mind's getting hit on me. Talk to us about Bill Dunn. We just, uh, we met, I don't know, six, seven months ago, I yeah. guess we met yeah. for the first time. For and, the first uh, time. You know, it's amazing to meet somebody, and uh, he hugged me like uh, nobody's ever hugged me before. Yeah. That was the first time I met him. So anyway, eventually we got into doing music. We're singing with him. Bill plays a guitar. He's a great guitar player. He's an acoustic guitar player, electric guitar. He plays really, really well. Yeah. He's just a great human being. He doesn't know Jesus yet, but we're working on him. There you go. We talk about Jesus all the time, so we're, we're bringing him closer and closer to the Lord. And, and, you know, that's how it happens a lot of times. You know, the world we live in is so different today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, I grew up in this area. And so, uh, I mean, I discovered America in Spartanburg, South Carolina, at what was called Spartanburg General mm -hmm. Hospital. <laughs> Part of it's still there. Yep. And uh, we all grew up, and ev everybody in Spartanburg, uh, we kind of knew everybody. You were probably right. a Baptist yeah. or a yeah. Methodist, Presbyterian, <laughs> Episcopalian, <laughs> Lutheran. Uh, we had a Jewish synagogue. Yeah. But everybody knew, every and, and we, everybody knew the Lord. Yeah. I mean, basically. Right. And on Wednesday afternoon, things shut down because it was prayer meeting in most Baptist churches and other churches. And then on Sunday, oh, nothing was open. Mm. And uh, because uh, we were all in church, but that's not today. No. I mean, and you've got people who are having to work just to put bread on their table yes, on absolutely. Sunday. Absolutely. I mean, uh, let's face it. Yeah. And um, it, it's a different day. And so you've got a man who's very gifted and talented. Yeah. And, you know, God is just, again, you're doing plow work in his life. Yeah. And you've <laughs> seen Bill bid. He did two songs by himself. He doesn't think he sings well. But Scott and I agree that it just, he has his own he voice, uh -huh. and he did. And he, he's got a wonderful. But I can't wait to come here next year if everything's okay with right. you. That uh, we'll come and perform for you guys because we had a yeah. brand new CD coming out. I got some new right. songs I wrote, right. and it'll, everything be acoustic. You'll be blessed electric, for sure. Electric and acoustic, it'll be great. Right. So. And and you know it it would be uh, it, it would be uh, so um, fascinating. Yeah. Uh, to have him, particularly once he gives his heart to the Lord. I mean, you know, really. And, and think not only the music, but think about, think about uh, the testimony of being able to Absolutely. share Jesus. I mean, <laughs> fellas, I mean, this, this is kind of... Yeah, we're, we're remember, looking forward to that time. But yeah. I don't want to push it too hard because no. I don't want to push him away. No. no I no. want to go easy we with him. Sure. And uh, when the time is right, I'll spring it on. Question Jesus for y'all. will let me know. Mm -hmm. You know, what you're doing is so commendable, and, and I salute you for what you're doing. And God has given you both the temperament, the mm -hmm. temperament that is needed. Yeah. But, and I think that would be a key to any success in, in God's eyes yeah. um, uh, for a, if you will, a ministry at a flea market. Because you could easily push people away mm. by being too forward. I mean, you you don't understand Absolutely. what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and and I think sometimes uh, we Christians maybe have gotten so excited, and we don't realize we don't want to push anybody away, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. but in our fervor, our excitement, our zeal, we we come on too hard, and uh, you know, 
I think for you guys, I, I mean, y'all are just perfect how God has used <laughs> well, you. Well, we're reading people's body. I mean, the yeah. body language, the vision. You know, for people who don't know Jesus and they see the face of Jesus, they immediately sure. know, hey, sure. these guys are Christian. So, sure. But you never, because it, it, it lights a fire going up there. Absolutely. I mean, these guys are out here trying to help you go through what you're going through. And you know that all of us, we have to, now there are times you have to be a little, a little forceful, for lack yeah. of terminology, yeah. to, to folks about accepting the Lord Jesus. I understand that. Yeah. And you understand it at the right time, the right place, the person, whatever. But I, I think sometimes uh, we have maybe run too many people off from the gospel because we didn't give them time to mature, uh, any, to do plow work, if you right. will. The Lord does the plowing, we know that, but He uses us to do the plow work as I well. I mean, we're not out there handing out tracks saying, you know, this, 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 this. We're just giving them a little love. Sure. And a little love for the Lord. And you know, is that not really what's missing in this day? Yes, it is. I mean, Absolutely. I mean, regardless of political arenas, yes. my gracious, yes. there's a lot of love needed mm -hmm. on all sides Amen there. Yes, sir. And, you know, I, I believe with all my heart, I've given my life to it, yeah. that Jesus Christ is the answer. I, I just, I believe it with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength, that Jesus Christ, he said he's the way, the truth, and the life. I'm not going to start preaching, but my point is, yeah. I do believe he is the answer to the world's problems. Now is the time. It is. Don't it wait. Is. Don't you know, wait. Uh, uh, the Bible says today, is the day of salvation yes. today, and you're you, maybe you just you've tuned in and and uh, you're very inquisitive tonight, and you're you don't know the Lord, and you've stumbled upon us. Maybe you're passing through. Maybe you're new in the area, and you're saying, "Oh my, there's that Christian TV," but something has made you stick with us tonight. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. And uh, you may need to call in and say, listen, I want you to pray with me. I want to know the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Yeah. We have people who are standing by. The, the phones are back there. Make them work. They didn't come to sit in that room and look at a, tele, at, at a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they didn't come to look at all the buttons on it. They came for you to give them a call. So many of you have done just that tonight. Amen. But if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, Give us a call, would you? There are folks back there. You're not going to feel guilty. They're not going to make you feel guilty. No, no, no. They're going to make you feel so loved by the Lord Jesus Christ that you'll want to say, God, whatever, I want him in my life. I want him. In. So please give us a call. Just like these gentlemen, and I still think, fellas, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, not only by writing a book, I just think getting out there and encouraging people. When I think about how... Ten, I've been told this in Anderson, the jockey lot. Yeah. Don't know this. That there's nothing to have up to 10,000 people out there in one day. Right. I, I yeah. don't know. I know it's yeah. a big spot. I know yeah. it's tremendous. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, think, I mean, you've got the world yeah. coming to you. The right. world. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. I'd be Anderson, I, but I'm saying the world is coming. And what better way to be there and to share, my goodness. Share Jesus with the world. Have you ever thought about going and singing? for an hour at your prayer station? Yeah, I did it in June. We did it, we did I, it already. We did it, we did it last year and you, you told us to sing. Yep. And for the month of June, because I was supposed to have surgery, I went out there and brought some amplification. Right. I brought a microphones, I brought guitars. I did concert out there every Saturday at 10.30. And everybody stopped by and listened to the Lord's, I, these, these songs that you guys heard tonight. It's all about Jesus. And it, well, it is, and I'm, I'm thinking, and again, what a testimony. And there's so many people who listen to us who are saying, I just don't, I, I, I can't, I can't. Listen, when God puts it on your heart, mm -hmm. you can do it. Absolutely. I mean, if he That's tells right. you to climb Mount Everest, yeah. God tell, you can do it. He'll see to it. You get up there and you get back. And, and I, I can't help but think, all right, now, from, from you fellas, uh, and uh, I, I go back to thinking about your dad, Michael. Yes. Uh, uh, Michael's dad passed away several years ago, but when, when Michael first started coming to the station and coming to Nightline, yep. your daddy was here. Every, <laughs> he every, every time. Every time. Mm -hmm. And I, I told Michael, I said, your dad was so 
proud of you. Yeah. You know what? He wanted to sing on this station. Oh, I know he did. And, you know, he asked me one time, and I said, yeah, that's your son. No, 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 <laughs> I know. I, 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 don't, I don't make, that's not my part, my purview. I'm know. just the host. And I, I said, know. I don't have anything to do with that. And uh, yeah. how long's dad been gone? 13, what's the name, man? Oh, my gosh. Four oh, years? Four years. Four yes, years. four years. Yeah, it'd be four years. Uh, it's, month. you know, so hard to believe. I know. And because hmm. he was in his 80s, I think. Uh, yeah, it was uh, 89 when he died. And he was still mobile and until the yeah. last few weeks or months. I mean, he was, he was. He was fine until that day. And and you all took care of him at the house, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We did. We took care of every need he needed. So, and we went to nursing homes and sang. Hmm. That's what was his thing, so. And so here's your dad in his mid-80s. Yeah. Living with you and your sweet wife, <laughs> going to nursing homes, yep. singing. Yeah. Is, is, is there something fun. right with that picture? We were called father <laughs> and son. What do you guys call father and son? Okay. And, but, um, yeah. and the people loved you. They did. They uh, did. We did it in Florida. We did it up here too, so yeah, it's yeah. great. And you're originally from Florida? Yeah. And well, not originally from Jersey, but uh, I came up here from Florida. And where are you from originally? Originally from New Jersey. Okay. We're the Jersey. Jersey. We're, from, we're both from Jersey. Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't find get, that out yeah. for a couple of years after we got knowing each other. We yeah. didn't find that out for, yeah. for a couple of years. And mm -hmm. I think, Fred, aren't you from New Jersey? I mean, yeah. Fred, yeah, Fred Sims, he's on the <laughs> other side of the wall tonight. Uh, Fred, you you got some brothers here from Jersey. Yeah, yeah. And, Give me a cheesesteak. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, cheesesteak and a pretzel. He, he, he'll talk pretzel, to you about that's right. that. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Ogies. Ogies. and, you know, Fred, uh, if yeah. you don't know him, one of the more, he's one of the most gifted men I've met, yeah. a, a videographer, but he submits and he, he wins awards upon war, awards wow. upon awards. That's awesome. I mean, uh, anyways, we, but, uh, and I just, I, when I think again about uh, how God has placed the two, and ha, tell us okay. again how y'all met, how, how was it? We met back in 2016, we we're doing prison ministry. That's okay. Tell us about it. yeah. Well, we we went to a meeting and uh, about about the prison ministry, and uh, we both showed up there, and we ended up being friends. But we had gotten away from each other for a couple of years after we did ministry. Mm -hmm. For about two or three years, I guess we hadn't talked to each other. And then one day, I don't know what how we even talked, but we called each other on the phone, and we from that point forward started the ministry at the at the uh, at, mm -hmm. at the flea market. Yeah. And I rem I remember <coughs> your first time with us here. And, uh, you know, That's I fun. thought, well, my goodness. I mean, uh, yeah. And yet, uh, again, how God's used you. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you it's never, crazy. you just, it's unbelievable. You, you can't outdo him. You yeah. can't outthink him. You, right. can't, yeah. you just can't outdo God in yep. any way, shape, yeah. form, fashion. Amen. So here you are. Uh, as having been friends, yep. but how God has put you together, you've connected, yeah. mm -hmm. and more than that, you're in process of connecting with yeah. so many people, and we want to connect with you, and we'll tell you how to do that. Michael Basmation will tell you in a song. Hold on to Jesus. Come on, Michael Basmation. But there's one treasure 
means more than breath itself. So I'm clinging to with everything I am. I will hold on to the hand of my Savior. I will hold on with all of my might. I will hold loosely the things that are fleeting and hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus for life. Like a child, hold on a promise. I will cling to his word and believe. And as I press on to take hold of that, it's Christ Jesus took hold of me. Hold on to the hand of my Savior. Hold on with all of my mind. I will hold loosely the things that are fleeting and hold on to Jesus hold on to Jesus hold on now hold on to Jesus hold on to Jesus for life thank you Lord For life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you. you know, well, Michael Bass Mason has such a, a sweet spirit about him. Michael, you do, and when you sing, and um, and the Lord, I mean, He honors you, and He blesses us. And uh, boy, both you and, and Scott have been a blessing. We, we've all kind of been journeying together now mm -hmm. for several years. Yeah. And uh, I'm just so grateful both of you. Mike, yeah. I want you to take a moment here and uh, look at uh, Scott's camera. Okay. And just share whatever is on your heart with our people who are viewing tonight. Would you do that, please, um, sir? No problem. I would like to share with you tonight about what you're going through and, and, and what you're feeling. If you go to Jesus, he will, he will comfort you in a way that you have never felt before. Because hmm. all the worry, all the agony, all the things that you're feeling emotionally, Jesus will take that away. So I want to encourage you tonight to give your heart to Jesus. And people that know Jesus, come guys, give your heart again. Go back to your first love. Go back to Jesus. Hmm. Yeah. And you know, the Lord... Uh, knows what it is. He had a church. Yes. The book of Revelation tells us mm -hmm. that, that left its first love. Maybe tonight you've been listening, and uh, these two guys, and their sharing and singing, has made you recognize that, hey, maybe I have drifted away. And uh, I, so many of you have called in tonight. So, so very, very. We have someone who, who has called in a prayer for healing. You fell and broke your leg. God bless you. We're so sorry. Um, we, we have some folks here who um, needs physical healing uh, for your eyes and your limbs. We have folks who are calling to say that uh, you've got some cataract surgery coming up. We're praying for you. Uh, we, we have folks who call in uh, uh, who are asking us to pray for their finances many 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 have, have called in and so you know what i want to do tonight fellas is once again i'm i'm going to ask you um uh, scott if uh if, if you would offer our prayer yes yeah, so we're going to lay hands here this brief prayer and if you'll offer and we're praying for you collectively right now go ahead brother heavenly father we just want to thank you tonight we just want to thank you for all these people that called in tonight lord Lord, you are the great physician. You are the great healer, Lord. You know what's going on in each and every one of these situations, Lord. Mm -hmm. I ask that you reach down from heaven and touch each one of these requests tonight, Lord. People that are sick, the people that have COVID, the people that yes. are hurting, that need physical healing, that, that have emotional pain, have all kind of pain, Lord. 
I pray that your will be done in each and every one of these situations. And we'll thank you in advance for what you're yes, going to do. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We've been praying for you. Yeah. yeah. Not only did prayer partners pray for you, but we prayed for you. Yeah. A, a double prayer emphasis. We want to thank you for being part of our program tonight. We recognize, as I said at the top of the hour, there's so many things you could watch. But you decided to park your car with us, and we want to thank you very, very much. I want to thank Ben, our production manager, pulling double duty. He's been flooring for us tonight. Sarah Beth is behind the camera, uh, joined us just recently. We're so glad to have you, honey. And of course, Scott, I, uh, he's Mr. Magic when it comes time to putting video together. <laughs> he's, he's on camera over here. On the other side of the wall, we've got uh, Gray has done a great work, and uh, Fred, of course, has been over there. Diggin', Diggin's been over there. Um, Allison's been over there somewhere. Who else have I missed over there? Um, who else have I missed? I think Tobe. Yeah, we couldn't do it without Tobe. Thank you. I mean, we just couldn't. <laughs> and all, all these people, I love them dearly. Because, listen, without them, I, I couldn't do... They couldn't do, we couldn't share the message. But we know without you, our viewers, without your prayer support, without your financial support, the Dub Broadcasting, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do this. But we also know, they know, without the Lord Jesus, without his blessing, without his approval, we couldn't do any of this. None of this would be here. And so please understand, we understand that very, very, very much. And so thanks again for inviting us into your home, wherever you might be. Some folks use a, a smartphone. They use an iPad, mm -hmm. uh, whatever the device that you've been on. Thanks for stopping in and letting us be part. And I hope that uh, you'll join us every evening from 8 to 9.30. And uh, you can see a repeat of our program every morning from 8 to 9.30. And so from all of us here at WGGS Television, Channel 16 in beautiful Greenville or Taylor, South Carolina, <laughs> wherever you want to say we are, uh, we want you to know we, we love you very much. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. May you follow him. May you know his love. I'm Pastor Benny. I'll see you Sunday. God bless. Bye-bye.